Hi hi everyone, today we're going to be making these shapes with bracelets and I'll be showing you two different ways that you can end it too. So first we're going to cut our strings and I'm going to cut it and then cut and I'm going to fold it in half because I'm going to be making a loop. Now I'm just going to pinch there then I'm going to select one string. The string that was the longest is what I'm going to be using as my leading string. And then I'm just going to make a backward forward knot. Please make sure you've made a an, made an alpha bracelet or at least a normal bracelet before you start this. This is not very beginner friendly. So make a backwards knot which is a capital D. Then make a forward knot which is going to be a 4. So I'm going to repeat that knot again to make another backward and now make the forward knot, backward forward knot. So I'm going to continue repeating that until I get to the length I want for my loop which in my case would be about 1.5 inches. Yes. So I'm just going to show you how I start with the shaped pattern. You see the picture pop up on screen. So what we have now are 22 strings. So we're going to remove the first two strings that we used to make our knots. So that's going to remove one string on the right and one string on the left. Now one string out of these is my base string. The one on the left is my base string. The one on the right is an extra string. I should not have cut but I did. Now what we have left are 20 strings. Now according to our pattern on the screen we need to make eight knots so what i'm going to do is i'm going to count three strings from the right bunch and then i want to count three strings from the left bunch now what's remaining is what i'm going to be what i'm going to count as one because that's going to be my first string so what i have now uh divided my string are divided into four okay so that's eight four on each side that's eight so starting with the left, remember, we're going to first add back our extra string to the big bunch on the right. And then we're going to take the leading string on the left and we're going to make a backward forward knot over that big bunch. There. Backward forward knot. And that is of our first knot. Now we're going to make three more forward knots. Now this part can be a bit tricky, but what you need to do is to make three more forward knots on the other strings on the right. Well, the three strings on the right this time. Now I'm doing this to make sure that there are no spaces in between my works or like those little strings that might stick out. So I've made my two knots, but I haven't tightened them yet. So I'm going to tighten the first one and use one finger to hold that close and then pull the end of the string and tighten the second one so there so now i still have two more forward knots to make so i'm going to make the second knot very carefully so that i don't mistakenly pull on the previous knot And now that I'm done, I'm going to make my last notch. Remember, I'm adding that extra string there. So we're going to make one forward, now backward, forward, backward knot. And there, this is what we have. Now to the next row. So now we're going to count. So now we have to make 12 knots. Firstly, we're going to move that extra string out so that we don't accidentally count it. You can just use, you can use the cut it off here. It doesn't really matter anymore. 
Now to continue, we are going to count ten, count out 10 knots. So we already have three from each side. What we need to do is add two extra strings to those knots. So take two from the right bunch and then two from the left bunch. So what we currently have are 10 strings that we've counted. And then we have, well, the remaining strings in each bunch on the right. So this time I'm going to be starting with the right side. I'm going to make one forward backward knot. This is our first string. So, and then we're going to make 10 backward knots. And then in case you've forgotten backward knots are you just making capital D's throughout. And sorry, my string is short. I miscalculated, but you don't have to worry about the measurements because I usually calculate the measurements after I'm done with making the bracelet so I don't mistakenly make one longer or shorter. I realize my string is quite short and I don't want to continue making the bracelet with it so I'm just going to get an extra string and I'm going to tape it down and here I'm going to be showing you how to change your colors or swap strings. So I've already taped my string down so you don't have to worry about that. And then I'm going to take the next string that I'm supposed to make a knot on top of. And now bring my new string in and make a first half of the backward knot so I'm making my first half of the backward knot pull up it's tight and secure now take the old string which is the short string pass it through and under towards the back it's out of the way you can just keep pulling it but there. now take that new string and complete the knot make the second half of the backward knot And we've swapped our string. Now I'm just going to continue knotting with this string. So I still have three more knots to make. And now we're going to go to the last bunch. That's the bunch on the left. And then we're going to pick that up and make our last knot which would be a backward forward knot backward and forward knot there. so now for the next row we're going to move in one string from each side now i've already made this bracelet and you can see that it's really shaped which is what we're doing here that's why we're going slowly instead of just making plain knots over all the strings at once. So now for this third row, we're going to be moving one string from each side. So we're going to be making 14 knots this time. 12 inside and one on each side. One on each side, sorry. So we're going to start with the left again and make another backward forward knot. And now we're going to make in 12 forward knots.
and now we'll, re we'll make our last knot which would be our fourteenth knot a backward sorry a forward backward knot on the right edge forward backward knot now we're going to make one more row so moving on to our foot row we're going to remove one string from each side again so let's get started by removing one on the left and then removing one on the right now at this point you should have only three strings left in each bunch so this time we have 14 inside and one on each side so getting started we're going to make our forward backward knot again And now we're going to make 14 backward knots. I think I forgot to mention that when you remove one string from each bunch, that should be the string you make your first knot or the first knot, the second knot on. Sorry. Like now I made my second knot on the string I removed. And the last knot, which is in my case would be the 14th knot, sorry. Will be on the string I removed from the left bunch. I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that. I don't think I mentioned it before. And now we're going to make our last knot on the left edge or left bunch. Make a backward forward knot. Now for our fifth row, we're going to be using the exact same number of strings we have here. The only difference is we're going to have our first color change in this row. So getting started, we're going to take the bunch on the left and make one knot there. And then two so wait let me just say it again so with the first knot was going to be our backward forward knot then we're going to make two forward knots and now we're going to swap to our black string and I'll be showing you how to do this again so first thing, I'm just going to tape down all the strings. This is not compulsory. I just find that it makes my videos look a little neater. And then I'm going to take the next string, next base string. Oh, sorry, next two base strings, because I want to show you a trick. Now take the first base string. We're going to make a knot on top of. Make the first half of the forward knot, because in this case, we're making forward knots. The last time, we're making backward knots. So, you know, the difference. Take the blue leading string, pass it under the next base string only, and then pull. Only under one base string. Now take the black string and complete the second half of the backward knot. Sorry, forward knot. Try. Now pick up the second string and make our forward knot. Now I can see my blue string passing and popping up through i'm just going to pull it slightly and there now pull the black string to make sure it's secure we're going to sweep switch colors again so we have so we have to make six knots with the blue string so we're going to count six strings one two three four five and six so we're going to count six strings now we're going to 
take our blue legion shrink and make the first half of the forward knot. Make the first half of the forward knot. Now pass the black string through that and under the remaining five strings and towards the right. And then complete the half of the second half of the backward knot and then make your five more forward knots. I said backward knot, sorry, forward knots. The way I pass my string over the remaining five is so that when it's time for me to switch to the black string, I don't have to bring my string back from any side. It's already there and I can just well switch or use it instead of looking for it and now trying to make sure my strings are not tangled. Like in this case, all I have to do is to put my green, my blue string up, then pick my black string and make the knot instead of bringing back my black string. But that's because I only have two colors now. By the way, we're switching to we're switching to black. We need to make two knots with black, with the black string. So first knot, and now we're going to make the second knot. And for the we're going to make three more well two backward two forward knots and one forward backward knot with our blue string so we're going to swap one more time for the end of this row now pass the blue under all the all the strings and out so as you right complete the second half of the forward knots make one more forward knot and then one forward backward knot on the bunch at the edge. Now for this next row, we're going to remove one string from each side. And this row, we're also going to be adding our white color to this. So just letting you know that. So getting started now, we're going to make our forward backward knot and then we're going to make two backward knots remember the first knot should be on the string we just removed from the bunch and now we're going to swap to our black string because we have to make two knots with the black string so we're going to bring in our string first, then we're going to make the first half with the black string and then pass the blue string through it, under and away. I'm doing that because I'm not going to be using this string anymore. My string is quite short. So I'm just going to pass it under to the back and out of the way. And you can notice I'm passing it towards the right side. There's a reason for that. So that it doesn't get tangled when I introduce my white string. So now complete the second half of the backward knot and then make one more backward knot with the black string. So I'm going to take the next string, next big string, and I'm going to pull my white string under all the other strings. And I'm going to be showing you how to do this without tape. So use one finger and hold the white string to the back of the bracelet. Make sure that you're holding it tightly. And now use your other fingers, well your second hand, and make a first half of the backward knot. Pass the black string through, no need to pass it under, just pass it through. And make the second half of the backward knot and pull. Pull gently, but make sure it's tight enough. Now we have to make one more string with our one more knot with our black string. So I'm going to make the first half, pass the white string through it and towards the right this time. So I'm passing it through that and towards the right. 
and I'm going to make the second half of my backward knot. Now I'm going to be bringing my blue string, ignore the fact that I'm going to be introducing a new string. Because I have to make four, well yeah, I have to make four knots with the blue string. So I'm just going to be quickly switching to my blue string to make the four knots. Now the reason why I pass my white string towards the white is because I didn't want it to get tangled with the blue string that I'm currently going to be using. Because when there are too many strings at the back, it's easy for your strings to get tangled. And if my white string gets tangled here, it will be sticking out. I don't want that so this is the easiest way for me to go about doing it and I actually switched up something in the pattern since I've already made one squid bracelet I decided to make a little change in the eye I will show you how to show you what I'm doing though if you're not interested in doing this you can just follow the pattern on the screen because it is only one one slight difference it's not not much So now I'm going to take my black string and I'm going to make one knot. Now if you look at the pattern on the screen, they made two knots with a black string, but I'm going to make it one knot. This is the change I was telling you that I made. So now I'll pass my blue string through that and towards the right. Make the second half of the knot. Now bring my white string into that. So raise all the strings, including the base and the leading blue leading string. Bring the white string in and make one knot, one white knot. Now pass the black one through and towards the other side. Make the second half of the backward knot. So now we're going to make two knots with a black string so it looks like my squid has a little cross it's cross idea instead of how it looked before and you've already seen the bracelet so you know it turned out well now swatch um <laughs> switch back to black now let your white go under the remaining strings and towards the left because we're not going to be using any more complete your backward knot and then make one more backward knot and now we're going to be switching back to our blue string blue leading string by the way because we're going to be making two backward knots and one backward forward knot So here we are, for the next row we're going to be making 3 forward knots, so 1 forward backward knot and 2 forward knots. We're using the same, basically the same arrangement because we're not removing any string from the bunches, we're just going to make the 3 knots with the blue string, like that. So what we're going to do now is to swap back to our black string and count four because we're going to be making four um four knots with the black string.
and now we're going to be swapping back to our blue string to make four knots with the blue string And now we're going to be swapping to our black string again to make another set of four knots. So just count four again. And now to end this row, we're going to swap back to our blue string because we're going to make in two forward knots with the blue string and one forward backward knot on the edge. And now for the next row, we are going to be starting it by, well, opening our bunch finally. So we're going to make our first knot, which should be a backward and um, forward backward knot. Then we're going to make four backward knots. Remember, we've opened our bunch, so this is kind of like the beginning of the normal rows because it's not going to be shaped anymore so for backward knots then we're going to be switching to our black string because we need to make two knots with the black string And now we're going to switch back to our blue string because we're going to be making six knots with the blue string. Six knots with the blue string. And now we're going to be swapping back to our black string to make two knots with the black string. And now we're going to swap back to our blue string because we have to make the five five last knots with the blue string which would be 
four backward knots and one backward forward knot. Now for this next row, we're going to be making eight knots with the blue string. So I'm just going to add one extra string to what I'm holding and then let me. So I'm going to start by making my first knot, which would be a backward forward knot. And then seven forward knots. Now we're going to quickly swap back to our black string because we have to make one knot with the black string. Again, excuse the fact that my string is short. So make the first half of the forward knot, pass the blue string through it towards the other side and make the second half of the backward knot. There's no need for you to pass your string under since we're just going to be using it in the next for the next knot. Now we need to make two knots with the blue string, but we're going to swap our string normally this time. So I mean by I mean that you should pass it under the next string and then knot. Now bring back the black string, make one knot, but do it like we did previously. So make the first half of the backward knot, pass our blue string through that. And then make the second half of the again forward knot, not backward knot, sorry. And now I'm just going to swap back to my blue string because I have to make eight more of the remaining eight with the blue string. So make the first half and swap normally, pass it under because we're not going to be using it again, well in my case because it's too small, plus I want to make the bottom part which is going to be the end of the smile with a shiny string. So I'm just going to complete making 8 knots, that will be 7 forward knots and 1 forward backward knot on the edge. Now for the next row, we're going to make, we're going to use our blue strings and make nine knots. That's going to be one forward backward knot and one and eight backward knots. Sorry, one forward backward knot and eight backward knots. And now I'm going to introduce my next string, which is going to be a shiny black string. And we're going to make in two backward knots. So we're going to end the whole smile or the squid face with this. Then we have one extra row that we're going to make, but till then. So make the next two knots with the black string.
And now we're going to swap to our blue string again. And we're going to end this row by making 9, 12, 8 backward knots and 1 backward forward knot. Plus 9 knots with the blue string. And now we're officially done with the squid face. We're just going to make one extra row with our blue string. So we're just going to make in 20, yeah, 20 knots. So we'll have one knot that will be our, well, beginning knot, which would be backward forward knots. And then 18 forward knots. And on the other side, you know, our forward backward knot. I'm going to swap my string again sometime during this bracelet, but I'm just going to speed through it. So now we're actually done. I'm just going to quickly show you how I cut my string. Because I'm going to cut my string now. And then I will get into how to make the ties or the squid legs. Or whatever they actually call it. But I'll get into that. And I'll be showing you two ways on how to make it. One with the blue bracelet and one with my pink bracelet. Now for cutting your string, just go to as close as the... As possible to the ends and just snip it off there's no need to worry about it except your knots are actually very loose but even if they are loose it's not going to remove i hope like just not going to come loose i hope now coming to the pattern they said we should make forward knots so first i'm going to divide my strings into sets of threes and since i have 21 strings so it should go around So there's the first set, second, and now just stop here. So going back to the first set, we're going to be making forward knots actually, or backward knots, backward knots. So take the third string and then make one for a backward knot over the first of the string next to it and make another backward knot over the one. And then drop it now take the third string again the next well the next string and then make backward knots until it gets to the edge okay now take the next string and make another set of backward knots until it gets to the end there now i find that i don't like making backward knots as much so i'm just going to take this string and switch it to forward knot to show you that you can also make forward knots instead because I'm probably going to be making all the legs of forward knots from this point on. Now take the next still first string and make two forward knots and repeat that step until you get the length you want or until you want out of string. Either one works. I'm just going to be repeating this till I get about 1.27 inches which would be me making repeats in this or I just have 15 rows so that's easier to say
now this is what it looks like at the when i'm done with all the legs and i'm just going to snip all the edges off later but now i'm going to be showing you how i make this one now i'm going to be starting from the right side take the three strings from the right side now take the ones on the edge one on the right edge and the third string lay the third string out on top of the knot on top of the middle string take the right string and then pass it under two of them and into the loop created by the third string and then pull up through those two sides now we're going to repeat this but we're going to be using the string that's currently on the right now make sure that string is always on top no matter what side is on and then pass the other string through it and pull under it through it and pull this is a box knot now if you're going to be making this knot be you have to know that this is very small so you're going to end up making more than 15 which was quite annoying so i made one leg with the box knot and then one leg with the four knots and that was actually how i ended it and it looked nice so that's going to be the end for this tutorial hope you had a nice time bye